Late last year, 12 American single ladies flew out to a country estate in England to spend weeks trying to impress this guy, the world's most eligible bachelor. Oh, wait. You're not Prince Harry, are you? No. No, he sure looks like him, though. This is Matthew Hicks. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Cheers for having me. And you're basically the star of this new Fox show, I Want to Marry Harry. Mm -hmm. So the idea is they brought 12 girls over to England, put them yeah. up in this castle, and all of a sudden they're like, oh, here's this bachelor. But you never tell them who you are. You never say that you're Harry. You never say that you're not Harry, right? Essentially, yeah. So I just played the mysterious man and let them come to their own assumptions. So what would you like us to call you? Anything you like will do for now. Prince Charming. <laughs> Prince Charming, is that how it goes? <laughs> we nicknamed you Boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yeah. yeah. That's very premature. <laughs> that is. Are these girls really naive? Uh, you could probably use the word gullible, I guess. It's um, <laughs> a nicer word. Uh, I don't, no, they're put in this very confusing situation where they're not told who they're going to meet. Uh, they're put in this situation that is all grandeur and, you know, they've got personal staff, there's chefs, they're, there's helicopters, boats, they're, they're staying in a castle. Um, this bachelor, myself, turns up uh, and the first glimpse they get is of me getting off a helicopter about 200 yards away and they just, you know, they see this well-dressed man in a chino shirt with the red hair coming out of a helicopter and then they're left to speculate for the next three or four hours before they actually meet me. Have you been told your whole life that you look like Prince Harry? Uh, probably only the last five or six years. So okay. since I was about 18, I guess. And I think I must have grown into it somehow. Yeah, and now your hair is really blonde and they dyed it, it red is, for the show, yeah. right? And then you went through like a Harry boot camp. I mean, look, look at this picture. Look for it. Oh, come on. Looks just like him. <laughs> oh, wow. There you go. So you went through a Harry boot camp, huh? Like, so, so, so that you could essentially pretend you're him. Yeah, the week in the run-up to meeting the girls, I went through what you could call Harry school, I guess. I had to learn everything about him, so from his military career, his, his schooling, his hobbies, where he likes to go in London, his friends, uh, past scandals, ex-girlfriends, Vegas, you know, everything. So was it fun pretending to be a prince? Uh, at times. There, it's got some great perks, but it, it was really tough as well. So is this your estate? How old are you, sir? Are you a wild guy? Is polo your favorite sport? Did you feel like a jerk at times? <laughs> at times. I mean, I tried the whole way through the process, I tried to put as much of myself across as possible so I was as, as now if I was on a date with a girl I'd be talking as I am but if they asked me you know where did you go to school I'd, I'd say Eton uh, if they if we were talking about my job I'd tell them I was in the military etc so I, I you know I told some small lies and <laughs> led them down this this path but uh, I never confirmed or denied who I was so what do you do oh uh, this and that We'll have to save that for another time. Another time, hopefully we can find out some more later. <laughs> well, hopefully, if you stick around for a while. I plan on it. <laughs> the accent is real, that's not fake. The accent's anyways. real, yeah. Okay, so, so you're from England, and uh -huh. what do you do, really? Uh, and how'd they find you? I work for an environment consultancy firm. Um, they found me. I'd, I'd done a few previous jobs as a, as a Harry lookalike oh, prior okay. to it, but um, I had a profile on a, on a lookalike website, and I, you know, it, made a few appearances uh, So in the end, you do find a girl? Uh, so one? it's there's an elimination process, and okay. at the end there is a winner. And then you have to tell the truth. That should be very interesting. And then there's a reveal, and we want to see, you know, <laughs> has she fallen for Prince Harry, or has she fallen for Matt Hicks? All right. I Want to Marry Harry premieres tonight right here on Fox 4. Thank you, Harry. I, I, I mean Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. Cheers. He was so nice, and he kept saying, cheers. 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 Thank you. Cheers. As he was here. Made me want to say cheers all the time. Coming up.